Welcome to Eye on the Tigers News. I'm Julie Pilo. Thanks once again for being with us as we follow the news for you. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo met on Tuesday with Saudi Arabia's King Salman over the disappearance and alleged slaying of Saudi writer Jamal Khashoggi, who vanished two weeks ago during a visit to the Saudi consulate in Istanbul. Pompeo's arrival came hours after a Turkish forensic team finished a search inside the consulate. Police planned a second search this one of the Saudi Council's home in Istanbul, a Turkish Foreign Ministry official said. Turkish officials say they fear Khashoggi was killed and dismembered inside the Istanbul consulate. Saudi officials previously have called the allegations baseless, but reports in U.S. media on Tuesday suggested the kingdom may acknowledge the writer was killed there in an interrogation gone wrong. Five days after the hurricane slammed into the Florida panhandle, People are struggling to locate friends and loved ones who haven't been heard from, though how many residents are missing seems to be anyone's guess. As President Donald Trump visited the devastated zone, the death toll from Michael's march from Florida to Virginia stood at 17, and the search for victims continued. As the hurricane closed in and more than 375,000 people were warned to evacuate, emergency authorities expressed frustration that many residents weren't leaving. Since the storm, Many people have been rescued from the devastated zones. Emergency officials said that because of widespread cell phone outages, others could be safe and just haven't been able to tell friends or family. Senator Elizabeth Warren on Monday released the results of a DNA analysis that she said indicated that she has some Native American heritage, a rebuttal to President Donald Trump, who has long mocked her ancestral claims and repeatedly referred to her as Pocahontas. The Massachusetts Democrat and potential 2020 presidential contender challenged Trump to make good on his pledge to donate $1 million to charity if she provided proof of Native American heritage, a moment that was caught on video. Trump falsely denied ever making the offer and later said he would donate the money only if he can personally administer the genetic test. Paul G. Allen, who co-founded Microsoft with his childhood friend Bill Gates before becoming a billionaire philanthropist who invested in conversion, space travel, arts and culture, and professional sports, died Monday. He was 65. He died in Seattle from complications of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, his company Vulcan Inc. announced. Gates said he was heartbroken about the loss of one of his oldest and dearest friends. Allen, an avid sports fan, owned the Portland Trailblazers and the Seattle Seahawks. Allen and Gates met while attending a private school in North Seattle. The two friends would later drop out of college to pursue the future they envisioned, a world with a computer in every home. Wayne County Sheriff Barry Verts announced Monday night that he will hold a news conference on Tuesday afternoon to discuss the case of missing one-year-old Owen Hildago Calderon. The sheriff's announcement came shortly after a Wayne County news site reported that sources close to the investigation believe human remains found on the Sodas farm belong to the boy. The Times of Wayne County reported the child's remains were found near where his 18-year-old mother's body was found earlier this year. Sina Hildego Calderon of Guatemala and Owen went missing May 16th in Sodas, Wayne County. Her live-in boyfriend, Everardo Donateo Reyes, has been charged in her death. Very cold temperatures this morning are a precursor for cooler temperatures the rest of the week. Here's Kara with the forecast. <laughs> We did start out cold this morning after an overnight that saw some very high winds that put the power out for more than 5,000 homes in Oswego County. That wind subsided early in the morning. We'll see some peaks of the sun this afternoon with highs in the low 50s. Another wet system comes in overnight bringing showers which will stick around for most of our Wednesday. And the wind will be another factor for Wednesday. The rain ends Wednesday night, will dry out Thursday, but the wind sticks around. Highs Thursday may sneak out into the 40s. It looks like Friday is shaping up to be the nicest day, with some sun and clouds and highs in the upper 50s. That's the forecast. I'm Kiara. Have a great day. The Brewers took a 2-1 series lead with their win last night. Here's Mr. Charbonneau with sports. Ulysse Chassin combined with four relievers on a five-hitter 
and Orlando Arcia hit a two-run homer in a 4-0 victory over the Los Angeles Dodgers on Monday. That gave the Milwaukee Brewers a 2-1 lead in the NL Championship Series. Los Angeles loaded the bases against Jeremy Jeffries in the ninth inning, but the struggling closer shut the door. He struck out Yasmani Grandal and pinch hitter Brian Dozier to complete Milwaukee's third shutout in just six playoff games this year. Game four in the best of seven series is Tuesday night at Dodger Stadium. Now Ryan Braun, he broke the game up early with an RBI double off rookie Walker Bueller for the first and only run the Brewers would end up needing. Now the Red Sox and Astros, they continue their series tonight in Houston. That series is tied at a game apiece. Mason Crosby, well, he kicked a 27-yard field goal as time expired to cap an 81-yard drive to set up Kevin King's interception with 107 left. And the Packers outlasted the San Francisco 49ers for a 33-30 win on Monday night. The final drive was extended after the 49ers cornerback Richard Sherman was flagged for illegal contact on a 3rd and 15 play that wiped out a sack of Aaron Rodgers with 43 seconds left. Rodgers rushed up to the middle for a 21-yard gain on the next play. The two-time NFL MVP completed two more passes for 19 yards to set up Crosby's game-winning field goal. Green Bay, they improved to 3-2-1. and one. And finally, Mexico girls soccer team, well, they look to move on in sectional play when it hosts a playoff game for the first time in program history. This is the second straight year the team has qualified for the postseason play. The team takes on General Brown at 3 o'clock today at the middle school upper field. Now the boys, they also have made their second playoff appearance in a row, and they'll travel to Skinny Atlas Wednesday evening for a 6.30 kickoff. That's a quick look at sports. I'm Michael. Have a great day. Mexico Care Shirt Collection continues through this Friday, October 19th. Gently worn, clean school appropriate tees, jerseys, polos, and dress shirts may be brought into the classrooms of Bigelow, Battles, Dady, Jalock, Spriggs, and M. Kyler. Senior yearbook quotes and directories are due by 3 p.m. Friday, October 19th. Mexico Idol will be on October 23rd at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. Come out and vote for your Mexico Idol. 10th and 11th grade students interested in taking the PSAT Wednesday, October 24th should turn their permission slips into student services. We did start out cold this morning after an overnight that saw some very high winds that put the power of... Oh, wait. Yeah. That's, that's, the, that's all for us today. I'm Jolie. Have a great rest of your day.